What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming <coughs> Gaming Gaming and we are here with How to Kill the War Priest. Guys, every single part of this raid, including secret chests, will be on my channel. Please do hit that subscribe button. It helps more than you know and tell your friends about it, guys. Let's get everyone, let's help everyone to beat this King's Fall raid. It's the most difficult raid we've had, but guys, I'm telling you, if you listen to me very carefully on all my tutorials for this raid and get the right pieces together and just stay positive and be the strength for your fire team you will get it done all right and you will be dancing just like i am anyways here we go so war priests what you have to do is all three people need to stand on the three platforms that you see um it's top left middle and then the right where i'm at uh you stand there and it launches the the boss pretty much and that's the big ass war priest so what everyone needs to do here is to, um, you know, have have it broken off two, 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 uh, break off this uh, section of the raid into three parts, uh, into three sections. It's the right, the middle, and the top left. Okay, have two people on each. Make orbs, kill these guys. Then you're gonna get these uh, hollowed knights. They're not hollowed knights, but they're they're ultra knights because they have the little yellow bar on my screen. They're purple because I have the colorblind settings. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to kill both of them. One comes from the middle, one comes from top right, or actually sometimes it comes from top left as well. Here's the guy right here. We're going to knife and kill him. He's dead. The other guy's about to die. Now what that's going to do is um, it's going to allow us to start the sequence. Now the sequence here is going to be top left, top right, or right where I'm at, and then middle. Once the middle happens, the guy who steps on the middle platform gets this uh, weird light tethering looking thing. What you have to do, I don't know what it's called, but what you have to do, it's like an aura. What you have to do is you have to stand in right next to him. Once you're connected, you are allowed to do massive damage to this boss. Tether him and just go to town. Now listen to this part very carefully. The guy who has the aura, right, the last guy to step on the platform, who launches it and gets the aura what he needs to do is he needs to space out the kills he shouldn't even be DPSing the boss that much all he needs to focus on is killing uh, the extra enemies on the ground but he needs to space out those kills because each time he kills it it restarts the timer for uh, the amount of time you're allowed to actually do damage to the boss okay Keep that in mind, guys. Utilize that to its full potential. Having a weapons of light bubble helps a lot as well. And then as you guys saw, um, he started farting or like giving his bad breath to us and almost killing us. And what you have to do is you need to just hide behind the same pillar where um, the tethering thing was launched. It's pretty much the last platform that uh, the person stepped on. You need to just hide behind that pillar where we were hiding and you will not die. And then, just like that, the process restarts, and it's just like the rest of this raid, guys. It's just waves. You have to get through one wave, learn the mechanics, and you'll be able to do all the other waves consecutively. Keep in mind, guys, you'll see it later on. Rockets do massive damage to the War Priest, especially when he's tethered. Keep that in mind, guys. All right, what our setup right now is a self-res Warlock uh, Titan Bubble with uh, Weapons of Light. And then four hunters. Not the best setup, but guys, we made it work. Um, our, my raid team is pretty good. We were in the race to be uh, one of the first teams to get it done. Um, so uh, you guys just have to work and keep improving. And look at that, a legendary engram. Great place to farm for engrams as well, by, by the way. Anyways, so now what it is is I tethered him. We're all going over to the right because that was the last platform that we had to step on. I think the sequence there went top left, middle, and then right. Um, and then we're here. Everyone's doing massive damage. Make sure you're getting headshots, tethering. Look at those rocket damage. Oh, my God. That rocket damage is insane. He's about to get dropped. Uh, I don't think we're going to kill him here. We're going to go one more wave, but he can definitely be dropped in two waves. And I'll definitely put a tutorial out for that. Um, once we perfect that, get a little bit higher rank as well. So now he's about to fart. And what we're doing is this was the pillar. And then we get here to the right pillar. Now, if you notice, once he's done farting, that the pillar we were hiding behind disappears. That means we can't hide behind the middle pillar. We can't hide behind the right pillar. 
Now that means the last sequence is going to end on the top left because that's where the pillar is. That's the last pillar. There's only three pillars on the map, right? So pretty much you have to kill them in four waves because each wave will disappear a pillar from what I know. I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but that's from what I know. If someone goes down, you've seen a couple people go down in our um, run. Don't be scared. Don't panic. Just keep going. Utilize the red death. The regen ability on this is phenomenal. Um, and yeah, man, just work as a team pretty much. Now we're on wave three. We're just waiting for those knights to come back out. This is the, the taken round, I guess. I, I believe it's health based again. Um, but we're waiting for those knights to come out again. Remember, you have to kill those two um, ultra knights. Uh, with the sword and then you're allowed to go start the sequence on the platforms i almost died there that was kind of scary um and then yeah you just you just got to take this raid one step at a time guys um you know utilize i re highly recommend you staying with the same team from start to finish i really really recommend that this raid is one of those raids where um if you thought communication and teamwork was important in the others this is the ultimate test for that so anyways here we go it went middle right and now we're going to left i tether him you can actually jump up to the top left from middle uh we're all tethered it's an easy kill from here um he, his health is not that much everyone's just headshotting him with the sniper uh my sniper is 300 by the way guys my the sniper is light level 300 i recommend you guys to get the highest possible light and weapons light as possible boom he's dead you already saw it and we are moving on to the next part Please, guys, hit a thumbs up in this video. It helps more than you know. And subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.